what about regional actors who may be interested in negotiations to denuclearize North Korea, for instance, South Korea, Japan, China? What role may they play in denuclearizing the Korean Peninsula? Let me take that first to the side arguing against. Oh, go ahead. So there's no Mira question. Afrika. Yeah, th there, there's no question that any uh, agreement that we come to, whether it's arms control, as we're arguing, or the big lofty denuclearization goal uh, requires other countries that are not just the United States. Uh, South Korea essential, China essential, Japan essential, and ultimately if we put in place an arms control regime, that will rely on the international community and international agencies like the International Atomic Energy Agency to do those inspections. But there's another side to this international coin, right, which is to realize that every country that sees itself as having a deep interest in the North Korean nuclear issue has already staked out its bargaining position. So one example of this is China, not going to be represented at the Trump-Kim summit in just a few weeks, but certainly made its feelings known to Kim Jong-un when he visited Beijing a few weeks ago. And in response to Kim Jong-un's visit to Beijing, the Chinese have already promised to begin letting guest workers uh, from North Korea back into China. That is before Kim Jong-un has done anything, the Chinese have already begun to grant him economic relief. So part of what we're calling here for here is realistic goals that all of these international actors can get behind because if we leave the goal too lofty, then everybody gets to define it for themselves and move the levers of pressure and incentives as they see fit, as opposed to in relationship to something tangible that we can all agree to definitively. I'm glad you raised okay. this question because I really want to give special attention to South Korea. We would not be here without President Moon Jae-in and his deft diplomacy. I think um, we must give him a great deal of credit. He read the situation well, and he offered an attractive off-ramp to Kim Jong-un, the Pyeongchang Olymp Olympics, and inter-Korean dialogue. So Kim Jong-un told uh, Moon that um, it was ready to step back from one of its um, one obstacle to past negotiations, and that was the North Korean insistence that the U.S. remove their troops. Uh, the s North Koreans are now saying they won't insist on that. That's a major positive sign. He also told Moon that they do not expect economic sanctions to be lifted immediately. They understand this is a process, and we have control over it. Unless and until they do verifiable steps towards denuclearization, we don't have to do a thing. Why do we have to lift a single sanction? This isn't child's play. This is something that professionals do. Uh, people who work in negotiation, people who work in verification. Uh, this is not something we have to give away before we get to the table, and certainly without it being verified, 